and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because, oh boy, oh boy, I'm sick. I'm ill, and it's really unpleasant, so I do hope your day is going better than mine. I'm so nasal, I'm fatigued, I'm getting the man flu, and it's not fun. But I've got myself a cup of green mint tea, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's going to do some good stuff. I'm hoping that that's going to be able to just make me feel a bit better. So I do hope you're having a wonderful day, and I do hope that I can get better soon, because I've got some videos to record, uh, and the show, of course, must go on. So today, you might happen to notice that it's day 190. We are sitting on $118,000. We have no debt, because I've paid everything off. And we're making some pretty good money. Yesterday, we made $30,000. Now, there's a comment that was in the previous episode that stuck with me. And that comment was, Hey, that's all well and good building marbles over there, but you don't have any parking near it. You, do, you have all these, all these counters and all this stuff going on, but you don't have any parking near that shop. It doesn't make sense. And you know what? I totally agree. I totally get where you're coming from. It doesn't make sense to have this shop so far away from the parking spaces. But eventually, we will get parking around Mobbles. Eventually, we will go ahead and uh, get some parking on this side of the mall. We just can't do it yet because we have some expansion to do. And that's something I'd like to start working on today. So we're going to go to Foundations. And we're going to expand like this a little bit. We're going to go for a... 13 by 23 space just there and we're gonna do the same down here we're gonna go 13 across and we're gonna go 23 done and we're gonna get both of those spaces built and what I'm gonna do is temporarily go ahead and throw a double door just there and a double door just there so that those spaces can still be used by our various customers Oh boy, my throat is also kind of sore. Like I said, I'm kind of ill, so expect my voice to be all over the place today. Oh boy, it's going to be a good one. Uh, so my plan here, as I'm sure you know by this point, because I've talked about it a lot, is to build some arms that go around all of this space up here and this space down here so that we can put a bunch of shops out there on those sides of the mall whilst keeping space in the middle here for deliveries and garbage. And what I might also do is get more staff parking into these spaces as well. In fact, I think I will do that because I think we could definitely use more staff parking. So one, two, three, four. Uh, we want to go one, two, three, four. And we want to do the same here. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll get a bunch of staff parking along those roads. And we'll see how that goes. It does mean we're going to have to extend the foundations quite a bit further. We are also a little bit low on cash at the moment. So I'm going to be honest, we're probably going to end up taking another loan at some point just to get all of this stuff done. But I am really glad that we managed to get rid of all that uh, debt that we were in relatively quickly. It really didn't take all that long to do at all. Now, obviously, we do still have some complaints down here. A lot of parking complaints. So we have a lot of queue full complaints from Mobbles and Rural Outfitters and McDillons. And people are generally complaining about restaurants as well because the queues are full or the restaurant itself is full. Now, what that tells me is we are going to need to get ourselves another fast food restaurant, but we'll see what we can do about that. What I want to do whilst I'm waiting, though, because obviously we don't have that much money to spend, uh, well, the first thing I'll do is go to road work and actually get some more staff-only parking all the way along there and there. Now, that's going to be a little bit expensive, but we can totally afford to do it. So we'll get it in all of those spaces. And that really should make it a little bit easier for all of the people that work inside of the mall, because there's so many of them. So many of them work in marbles. It's a little bit silly. But what I'm thinking I'd like to do whilst we're waiting is I'd like to go to store 27 and store 29 and actually figure out what they're going to be because I haven't really decided. If we look here, I mean, the Nerdresoft store is just a general electronics store. I can't imagine it's making all that much money anymore. I mean, Bowling Alley 3 
is minus 9% on the profit margin. Mobbles is 54%. That's okay. The Nerdrosoft store is interestingly 86%, but I have to imagine that... I mean, that's those are recent sales. It goes up and down all over the place. It does look like it is dropping, though. It did take a massive hit back there, and it hasn't really properly recovered. So the Nerdrosoft store... I think we're going to have to close it today. The Nerd Phone store is doing okay. The camera shop is doing pretty good. Rural Outfitters is up and down all over the place. We're going to have to do something about the fact that this place constantly has full uh, queues, but we'll figure that out. Uh, I do think I'm going to have to figure something out for these two stores, though. And I really don't know what that's going to be. We could do alcohol. We could do alcohol. We could do a dedicated fresh fruit place. But what if we get alcohol, like liquor and wine out of the way? Because we haven't had a look at needs in a while. So I'd like to um, have a look at that. Now, fast food is being dealt with. That's perfectly fine. But if we look at liquor, I, I kind of want to get liquor and wine both up to really good places in terms of their tiers. Now, obviously, we could do similar with things like uh, canned food or breakfast cereal, snacks, ice cream. I mean, there's no demand for tier three stuff in that. But if we look further down, if we go for uh, electronics and appliances, TV sets, again, nothing really there. Is there anything here? Like uh, cameras, interestingly, do have some tier three demand, but the camera shop's probably dealing with that. MP3 players, not so much. Tablets, no. Smartphones do as well. But I think we're dealing with that. What about games, consoles, or laptops? I'm thinking we could maybe look into like laptops. So it's like a it's like a computer store. It just does laptops. That could be an idea. But it might be very close to some of the other electronics places. So I think I'm gonna go for liquor and wine in these two places just to see it what it does. Just to see if it does some cool stuff. So let's go to objects. We'll get ourselves a checkout counter. And I need to figure out what way these go, because I've completely forgotten. I'm pretty sure that goes, like, over there, right? No, it goes there. Yeah, it always goes there, so that's going to be totally fine, I think. Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, the checkout counter goes there, and that one would go there as well. Then we want food shelves. And I think the food shelves in here can... Probably just go this way, not like that, this way, just to make things nice and easy. So we'll get a bunch of food shelves in there. Uh, we'll double those ones up, and we'll do that sort of thing. And really, that should be totally fine. That's going to be so much more liquor or so much more wine than we necessarily need. But that's okay. I'm not too worried. Let's get ourselves some liquor. And uh, we'll throw some other stuff in here as well, but the majority of products in this store are going to be uh, liquor. So all of that is liquor. The rest of it could be a little bit of wine. I think that'll be fine. And a little bit of beer. Now, these aren't necessarily the kind of shops that you would have in the front, in, in like the main area of your mall. It's like, oh, we'll go to McDonald's, we'll go get some clothes, we'll maybe get the kid a, a new uh, a new phone, and we'll get some hard liquor for the road home. Uh, don't drink and drive. Uh, so, oh boy, that took a turn. Uh, let's go ahead and say that store, I believe this is store 27. Uh, store 27 is going to be, um, I don't know, the watering hole? The, the watering hole hole. Which is ironic because it doesn't sell water. Uh, mole, store, mole storage 4 is uh, going to be dealing with that. And I guess this is just going to be a 9 to 5. I don't think it needs to be anything other than that. So we'll get ourselves a stock clerk. You're pretty good at being a stock clerk. So you're going to come in at uh, a little bit earlier than that. You're going to come in at 5. The cashier is going to be Nathan Hayes over here. He's pretty good at what he does. And he's going to come in at 9 and work for 8 hours. So the watering hole is going to be open 9 to 5. And that should be fine. Honestly, you know what might be a better idea? Changing that and saying that the watering hole can open later. It opens at like, uh, let's have it open at four and close late. That might be an idea. So instead, you are actually going to start at four, which is fine. 
The stock clerk is going to start at uh, noon, I think. And that should be fine. So we'll see how that goes. It could be an interesting thing to have a shop that sells hard liquor uh, not open until a little bit later in the day. I don't know if that's going to make any difference to the sales, but I'm certainly curious to find out and see uh, how exactly the watering hole does. Because it just sells nothing but liquor. And that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so, so I'm curious. Very, very curious. I think I am going to go ahead and close the Nerdresoft store up here. So let's go to remove walls and objects. Let's go, no, let's go to remove foundations. That's all being closed. Goodbye. Now, what I also want to do is remove some road work. So all of this is going to go as well. Because none of that space is really necessary anymore. Also, that's not finished there. That bit of road work. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so we'll get rid of all of that. And uh, those bits as well. Now, that's obviously going to take a while to do, but should be fine. This place is open and seems to be doing some good work. Although the guy that works here has just gone home. So people are just coming in, grabbing some liquor and going home. Thanks, guys. Good to know that petty theft isn't above my customers. Uh, that's that's just excellent. Oh, my God. This place is filthy. What are the complaints we have currently? I have to imagine Squalor is going to be one of them. I have got a lot of janitors. I really do. But I'm constantly noticing that people just generally aren't very happy. Uh, we peaked at 790 customers. Good Lord. We need to get a thousand on site, though. Not really sure. Not really sure how well that's going to go. If I'm honest. Uh, because at the moment, we're already struggling with, you know, the thousands that go to mobbles every day. We're also struggling to keep the place clean, which is something that customers are not complaining about. So that's great. I really am thinking we're going to have to get like a dedicated cleaning space over here in uh, in Mobbles. I really do think that's going to have to be a thing. Uh, but whatever. While we're waiting for that all to be cleaned, what I would like to do is come back over here and just go. Uh, let's see. 13 by 18 on that bit and 13 by... 18 there as well just to, to uh, extend those bits so we can start you know getting ready to bring the arms out and around over to all of this space because I do really like the idea of having that uh, those delivery zones and the customer parking not the customer parking the staff parking in uh, in kind of the middle of the mall I think that could be a really cool thing to do again like I said at the beginning of the video by the way I apologize if I'm pausing a lot or if I sound dreadful, it's, um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. I'll be honest. It's, it's not pleasant trying to, you know, en enunciate so much whilst I'm so nasal. It's really, really unpleasant. But I promised yesterday that there'd be some videos today. I promised that one of those would be City Skylines. I don't know if that's happening yet. It might have happened by the time this video has gone. I, I really don't know. But I'm trying. The show must go on. Tomorrow's my day off, by the way. Uh, this is going to be the last video of the week. Tomorrow's my day off. I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, God, I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be so good. I am going to sleep. I am going to sleep like no one has slept before. Let me tell you that much. Uh, now, what are the complaints? Squalor. Parking is still a major issue. Uh, queues full of mobbles, rural outfitters, McDillons. Um... The watering hole should be open right now. There it is. So the watering hole's open. Hopefully it's doing some business. How are we looking for the watering hole? Minus 1,061. What? Come again? Please explain this. I guess, you know what, this place is relatively popular now that I look at it. Uh, are we dealing with, like, liquor? Oh my god. There is a lot of demand for liquor at tier 3. There's so much demand for liquor at tier 3. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. So apparently people want a giant... A giant liquor store. Okay. Uh, well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> While we're not doing that, 
Let's get some more food shelves and let's get the um Let's get the vineyard open. That's what we're gonna call the wine place. We'll call it the vineyard. Uh because that sounds fancy. So store 29 is gonna have uh wine. It's gonna have a lot of wine on it. So that's seven total places to get wine. Eight. We'll go for nine. And we'll go for 10 in total. Now, these shelves back here can have, I guess, some beer. I think we'll just go for beer. It's usually a good shot. It'd be really nice if these menus were, uh, you know, it'd be really nice, actually. It'd be really nice if you could copy and paste shelves. I don't know what's on that one. I don't really care what's on that one. Uh, store 29 is going to be the vineyard. So the is it V-I-N yard or is it Vine? Is it Vine Yard or Vineyard? Uh V-I-N-Y-A. Like, I'm Googling this. It is Vine. Yeah, it's it's spelled Vine Yard, but it's pronounced Vineyard. Uh so Vine Yard. There we go. So the vineyard is pretty much ready to go. We're gonna open it at a similar time to uh the watering hole. So staff, we're gonna get a cashier. You're pretty good. You're not very patient though. Uh you're not very sociable. We'll go for you, you're kind of average. Uh, so we'll get you, you start at four, we'll get the stock clerk, and you are gonna start at, uh, noon as well. So there we go. We've got the watering hole, we've got the vineyard, I'm excited. I'm expecting some good things from these places. It is nice as well that everywhere in this mall is now full with something. That is, that is a really nice thing. Now let me have a look at the watering hole. How's it doing in terms of, um, minus 16%. That's... That's a little bit better than minus 1,000. That is a definite improvement over what we had previously. Uh, now, I am noticing a little bit here that the stock clerks for the vineyard haven't come in because we haven't assigned storage. Oh, I'm an idiot. Assign that. There we go. Right. I can't imagine this place is actually going to open today. What are the complaints we have here? So the complaint is parking. Still a lot of parking complaints, which is really surprising. Like, really, really surprising. Um, let's get a, let's get some road work like this. Let me connect up those bits. I'm not going to be able to get parking in there, but what I'd like to do is bring a road done like this if I can't afford it, which I totally can. Uh, I'd like to bring a road across here and a road across there and a road across there. Now, that's obviously going to be a bit expensive, but what I can do is get a lot more parking in there. I'm also thinking it might be a good idea to go ahead and remove some road work from here. And then continue some road work across like this, like this, like this, and to there as well. Because I can get a bunch more customer parking in all of those spaces too. And honestly... I think it's going to be time to remove foundations from over here. We're going to get rid of a lot of janitors doing this, but we're going to do it. We're going to remove all of that. That's a maintenance area gone there. Uh, I think we still have builders in the mall. I'm not certain. So maybe we'll go to mall maintenance and we'll hire a couple more builders. So we'll get uh, your cashier, mate. You're not going to be coming in here. We'll get you and you can start at midnight. We'll get, uh, we'll get you and you can start at eight in the morning. And, uh, we'll get, I don't know, you're not very quick. We'll get you. You can start at four. So that should do some good stuff. Once those people come in, we'll start uh, to have all of this deconstructed. We'll have a lot of stuff built. Got a lot of roads going in there. That's all costing a lot of money to do as well. But it should do some good stuff for us, because what it's going to do is let us get uh, more parking in here. And that's absolutely something that we apparently really need. Apparently, we desperately need parking. Now, let's have a look at the complaints. Again, parking's still a big one. Queues at McDillon's, restaurants, queues in the watering hole, and squalor. I hired more janitors. I, I did. Like, between between this episode and the last one, I did hire more janitors. There's, there's a lot of them. That's a lot of janitors right there. There's 25 of them at one point. But apparently, that's... Maybe we just don't have the... Maybe they don't come in because we don't have the space. Is that a thing? Because if that's a thing, then that would that would explain why there's no janitors. And I mean, if they need if they need the space, then they need the space. It's that simple. Uh, but I just haven't a clue. I don't know how it works. Uh, now here's oh, there's my builders. 
I was literally about to ask where my builders are. Then they show up to save the day. They know what's up. Uh, let's go ahead then and get some customer parking in there and in there. This is all going to be quite expensive, but I, I'm hoping that this will do some great stuff for... Oh my god. Oh, it's weird seeing that gone. It's really weird seeing the, uh, the old OBLS not there. That's so strange. I don't like it. This place looks so different without it as well. It really does. It looks so weird. It looks so proper. It looks like a mole. It looks like I almost know what I'm doing, which is not the truth at all. Good Lord. Uh, right. Rural Outfitters is constantly having problems. I really don't know what to do with this. I feel like it needs a bigger store. I feel like it really needs a bigger store. Uh, the vineyard is not making all that many sales. I'm curious to see if they are making money. Because I hope they are. The vineyard is... Well, I think this might be its first day open. The watering hole is not making money at all. But I guess that's probably because the... The queue is always full, so there's only so many people can actually go there. We really need to do something about that. I really didn't anticipate that these stores would need to be huge. Like, really, these stores need to be th that entire size. Like, these two need to be merged into one. So, I'm thinking that uh, the watering hole and the vineyard are probably going to be moved out onto the arms at some point. And honestly, Rural Outfitters is either going to be expanded or we're going to have to build another one. But I don't know what we're going to do yet. I don't know whether or not we want to expand it or we want to get another one. I have, I have no idea. Uh, are my workers done? No, they're not. They are going to take their time. There's only two of them at any one time at this point, so that's kind of to be expected. Let's get more customer parking in here. We might as well see about filling up a lot of this space. We might as well see about filling up all of this space up here as well. Uh, just to get as many customers in here as possible. It would be nice to have over uh, a thousand parking spaces, but... I mean, that's going to take a while. That's, uh, that's going to be a lot of work to get a thousand parking spaces in here. Well, actually, in saying that, we're at nearly 900 already, so... I'm pretty confident that we're probably going to get nearer near a thousand parking spaces if we don't just hit a thousand parking spaces when this is all done uh, I guess we will see I also have to imagine that my customers maybe don't like walking all that far like someone parks you know all the way down here that's a that's a bit of a walk to get to the mall but I mean they're doing it so I can't really complain it's uh it's not it's not something I think I will Stress too much about it's also nice to see that before 10 and around 10 in the morning we start making a profit yesterday We made 31 grand, which is absolutely beautiful to see the first complaint of the day is in and that is mobbles queues being full I Want to deal with this problem. I Want to fix this So I'm gonna go to build and I'm gonna do something dumb. I'm going to expand this I don't have enough money to do this. Uh, I'm gonna expand That way a bit And we're gonna get that built and what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna then take over some of the storage area and hopefully I Can get a decent number of queues in here Because we need them we need more queue space in here. I might look into more efficient ways to have uh, people queuing in here. I don't know what those ways might be. But I think at some point... I think at some point I'm going to have to do a lot of testing with queues and stuff like that in this game. Because I really don't... I really don't know what works. I really have no idea what actually works. We also have over a thousand parking spaces, which is beautiful to see. Uh, parking usage was apparently as low as 714 at one point there. That's... Shocking apparently uh, That's apparently something we need to worry about squalor is picking up again. Uh, I think we are gonna have to get more Janitors I think we're gonna have to get them in different maintenance centers. I think that's what might be going on here But we'll see what happens are my builders nearly done 
I think they are done out here, so they should be heading over this way uh, any second. I hope. Builders! It's gonna be really hard to see you guys, isn't it? Because there's a lot of people moving back and forth here. They have to be on the way. I just don't see- Oh, there they are! Good! Alright, well that makes my life a lot easier. So... Yeah, that's gonna be a new storage area. What I think I'm gonna do is assign storage like that. Uh, then I want to unassign all of that. Which is probably okay. I want to go to build and I want to build a wall there. And then I want to put some staff doors on it. So staff door can go down there, I guess. And that'll be fine. I can't seem to put one there because... Oh, no, I can. There we go. So we'll get some staff doors there. Then we'll go to remove walls and objects. Remove all of that. Then we'll assign this new area to be a part of mobbles. Which has just gotten bigger. Because that's what it needed. It needed to be a bigger store than it already was. This is just... Oh, it's just silly. It's just silly. But I hope it works. I really want to see the mega obnoxiously big local shop. I want to see it get bigger and I want to see it work and I want to see a bunch of queues that aren't constantly full. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but we'll see. I'm also thinking that I kind of want to make a Mobbles t-shirt. I don't think anyone would... I can't imagine it's something all that many people are going to want. Um, but I don't know. I have an idea in my head of what a Mobbles t-shirt could look like. I have a couple of ideas. It's basically going to parody the logo of... Um, some supermarket chain. I don't know what one it would be. Because for me, personally, I'd want it to be based on like a UK supermarket chain. Because that would make sense for me. Because I see those. But I know that I have a big, just generally international audience from all over the world. I say big. Big in comparison to the people that would get the joke in the t-shirt. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might come up with like its own. I don't know. We'll see. It's a dumb idea. I might not do it. I might do it. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> right, so... It looks like most of these queues are open. I think I'm gonna hire, like, two more people... for each, uh, shift. I think that might be an idea. So, cashiers begin at 8, cashiers begin at 4, and cashiers begin at midnight. Uh, you don't have much patience, but you'll do. You're gonna start at midnight. And you're kind of crap, so you're not going to bother. Uh, you're going to start at midnight. Uh, next, we're going to get you. You're kind of average at everything. And you're going to start at 8 in the morning. And you're going to start at 8 in the morning. And that should be fine. Uh, then, we are going to want... Uh, again, you're not very good with your stats up here, but you're a good candidate. We'll try you. We'll try you. Why not? Uh, we'll get you in at 4 in the afternoon. And we'll get you in at good old four in the afternoon. And we'll see what that does. That is only two more people. But I want to see what the initial response is to having those two more people. I'm also wondering if... Because when you, when you place a checkout counter, the queue is on the right-hand side. In this case, it's on the left-hand side. So in theory, I could do a checkout counter down there. And there, because it's not interfering with the queue that already exists. So I wonder if that's something I should uh, consider doing. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I'm also going to just keep a close eye on uh, Mobbles and see what happens over there as well. Uh, because hopefully, it'll do some good stuff. Now let's go ahead and build a bunch more parking lots over here. Because we might as well get them in here and fill up these spaces, because that's why I built them. So parking lots can go into all of that space. We could get a bit more up there, but I won't bother just yet. We'll get some done here, too. And... Hopefully that'll do good stuff. Now, looking over here, my god, the queues are full again. There's so many complaints coming in. Uh, squalor is an issue. The vineyard had some full queues, which is interesting. The watering hole as well. McDillon's... Mobbles, Rural Outfitters. Man, I need money. I really need money. 
I don't want to take a loan. So I think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for today. And much like what I did between this episode and the previous one, I'm going to leave some time, not necessarily between the two episodes in terms of uh, when they'll be uploaded. The next episode will not be too far away. Just remember, tomorrow is my day off. But I'm going to leave a few days of in-game time between this episode and the next to try and generate enough money to pretty much finish the construction of both arms. So I might try and get myself a nice hefty million dollars uh, to finish the construction of these arms over here so that we can um, get some bigger stores because I think we need a bigger rural outfitters. We need bigger places for the tier three goods as well. And hopefully some of that will take sales away from mobbles. I didn't really think I'd be saying that, but it, it definitely seems like a bit of an issue. Uh, yesterday was 37,000. Our highest, we had a new high recently, 37,970. That's not bad. Uh, but this is progress. We have definitely made progress. We've got this giant parking lot over here. I'm really happy with how it's going. We just have a lot of work. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Thank you kind of for watching. This has been another break in the mall part 17. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,